And action. Hi, thanks for your time. My name is Stanley B. Herman. I enjoyed a healthy and productive life and many successful careers. I consider myself blessed. My latest challenge is being an actor. I was 60 when I went for it. You see, it's never too late to take on your cause, especially when you're inspired. For the record, some of you might recognize me from Requiem for a Dream and my recent motion picture, Black Swan. For all intent and purpose, I'm here because my latest challenge is being a spokesman for Tex Kills and having this opportunity to deliver a very important message on their behalf, but moreover, on yours and mine. I'm also a grandfather of an 11-year-old who just discovered the cell phone and all the fun he can have with it, and he's using it like it's going out of style wherever he goes, like all of us do at one time or another. Bottom line, I am a concerned grandfather and a fellow human being about the danger of what is called inattentive blindness, a serious byproduct of a wonderful communication tool. The cell phone, moving rapidly into the lifeline today and inevitably into the future. Needless to mention, but I will, we're losing loved ones because of the negligence use of the cell phone, texting, while driving, walking across the streets, in the work domains, where heavy machinery is used, on and on and on. I don't have to punch up the statistics, and it's happening worldwide. Text negligence is on the rise, and we have to put a stop to it. Now. I'm happy to say Tex Kills is trying. They're on a vigilance to stop this inattentive blindness by cell users who are not practicing safety to realize where they are before they execute a text message. Because sooner or later they may wind up executing someone or themselves. Yeah, you may think I'm overreacting, but if we don't cure the cause and cut it out like a surgeon does, one of us might just become an innocent victim. So, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm a die-hard volunteer, and I appreciate this opportunity to appeal to you to help in some way. And if you can't devote your physical time, then maybe you could make a contribution to tech skills. The men and women who have pioneered this worthwhile effort have been voluntarily providing their time and financial support Tex Kills is growing rapidly, so it needs additional funds to continue on this pilgrimage to save lives, lives, young ones, old ones. So please, take a moment, think about it. And if you can afford to send in your contribution, if you can afford to support it in some way, do it. Don't text and drive. We are out.